Hey guys, welcome back for another episode. Going to do an um, unboxing and a review of this wireless portable charger. Also, want to remind you guys, don't forget to give this uh, video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And to share it across your uh, social medias. Okay guys, so here's the package. This is a 7500 milliamp wireless power uh, bank. Um, it says it can do up to four iPhones, which is just the standard uh, regular iPhone, not the iPhone Plus or the X or 10, sorry. So here's the packaging. Um, this is by Honeycomb brand. I've really never heard of them until recently. Uh, my local Walmart actually has these in stock. Um, that's why I bought it. You also can buy it from walmart.com. And I'll put links in my description for this. It'd be a great present or a stocking stuffer because they're very cheap. I got this one for $39. And uh, for $39, it's really cheap for other ones out there. Because most of them aren't, don't have the built-in wireless charging. And another thing about this company, they also include, which I already have one open because I bought two of these. So this is what it all looks like. They also include this little patch. So if you have a non-iPhone 8 or the iPhone 10, you actually can still make your older iPhones wireless by attaching this to the back. There's a little strip of adhesive. It can also work inside of a case. You just stick it to the back of the phone, like so. And then you would just plug this in like this. And then this would stay either, in, it goes directly on the phone. So you either put your case back over this or just leave it open like that. And then if you ever do still want to use your regular cable, it has a little lip here. And you can pull that out and still use your regular cable. I think it's very nice of them to include this. It's really cool. And for such a cheap price, like I said, this only costs 40 bucks. And they also have different versions, even cheaper ones. I think the cheapest one is like $29, I think. And But that one was only like 4,000 milliamp uh, battery. So they, there is three different sizes. I think it was 29, 35, and then 40. And each one was about a um, thousand or fifteen hundred milliamp jump. So <clears throat> it also comes with a cable here. It uses micro USB. And here's the outer case of it. And this this is a like a um, rubberized plastic. It's very soft. It will not scratch your phone. I don't believe. And here's your little power indicators by pressing that the only downside i've i've had of this thing is whenever you want to charge something wirelessly actually it did it didn't it? um sometimes you have to turn it on it's, it's, um because we'll watch here like let this shut off here see so that's the only downside of this thing you got to make sure you turn it on you know push that button first and then you have wireless charging um, you also, it doesn't have to have a hundred percent contact. Like this is about an inch off of it. Oh, it went away. It goes about an inch off and it will still charge. So it's pretty cool. Um, another thing I've actually used this thing for is, um, I have an Apple TV. So my little remote, it uses that. I've actually used this to charge my little remote because I have a little, I have wireless uh, charging pads all throughout my house like these, and this will work with even your wireless ones, uh, other wireless pads. It doesn't have to work just with the honeycomb. Um, I have the iPhone 10 here. And another thing that I bought with this was I bought a, um, this is actually Amazon Basics. So it was really cheap, like 650. And this was um, a hard drive case and it fits this thing perfectly. So after you charge it all up, you want to take it with you. It'll hold all your cables that you want to take with you. And there you go. So I'll put a link to this too in my description. Another thing that I discovered with this thing is you can either just have it open like this and place your phone on it. It'll charge. Or let me... You know, if you've got really compact space, you don't have much space, turn it on, flip it around, shut it, and your phone actually charges through the case. Isn't that pretty cool? I didn't, I couldn't believe it actually would go through this case, but it does. 
and it's still charging up there. You can see the green. Take it off. Okay. So I've I've gotten about three to three and a half charges out of this before I have to recharge it. As you can see, it's getting it's probably around half or probably less. So I got two lit up. Um, but it I've I've not really seen a problem with it. It's not as fast as some out there on the market, sure. Um, now what I've done, I have a little thing set up here. I also will put a link to this in my description. I bought an adapter that goes from micro USB to lightning so I can use my lightning cables to charge it. Let's plug it in like that. And there you go. So I don't have to, you know, constantly looking for that micro USB uh, cable because everything I have is all Apple. So, I mean, I really don't have very much that charges with micro USB. So that's why I bought the adapter. So I'll put a link to my description that that was a little expensive. I think it was like nine dollars just for one of those, but it works very well. And it's got like a metal casing or something around it. So it's built very well, but I still think it was a little pricey. Um, you also can buy if you're an Android user and all you have is Android and you might have a couple Apple products. There's also another adapter I bought, which goes from micro USB to lightning. <clears throat> so you can, I can even use, just happened to say I forgot my lightning cable and I only have this one with me. I can use this one to charge my cell phones and all that with it. So I'll put a link for both these. These were a lot cheaper. Don't know why that one was so expensive, but it was. And there was other cheap ones on there, but they were didn't have very good ratings. I always look at ratings before I buy things. I don't like to, you know, buy junk and then have to buy it two or three times to get something nice. Um, oh, another thing too, really cool about this, you also can use this as a wireless charging pad while you're charging your honeycomb um, power bank here. It has a pass-through. So while it's charging itself, it'll charge your phone too. So I thought it was really cool. So essentially, you can have this on your nightstand plugged in charging and then have your phone on top of there and charging while you're asleep. Um, it's not super fast either. I think it puts out wireless charge. I think it put out, um, let's see here. Yeah, the micro USB puts out five volts and two milli and uh, two amps and the wireless puts out five volts and only one amp. So it is not the fastest either. But I put it on there for like an hour and I went from like in the 30% range up to almost 70 within an hour or so. So, I mean, if you're kind of in a hurry, yes, it's not that fast. But um, if you're on the road though and or whatever, it, I just think it's a great, great battery charger um, power pack for 40 bucks. And I just like the fact that I don't have to have any cables with me. I can just put my phone on there and it charges. And I do like the fact they give you this too in the package. Which is really nice little addition if you want to make something else wireless charge. As long as it has the lightning capabilities, you can use that. I've even tried to test it on my mouse here. My, uh, wire, my magic mouse that uses the um, lightning. And I've actually just placed it on there and charged my mouse up with it. So, alright you guys. I think that's all I've got for this. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And also, too, please don't forget to check out my uh, description. I also will put links in there for the stuff uh, you see here. And there's also f uh, links to people I like to help support. And as always, you guys, please don't forget to uh, share my uh, videos across your um, social medias and Facebook or whatever you guys use. And thank you for um, being here and watching this with me. I like to bring tips and tricks to you guys to help you along your creative journey. And this will be a great gift idea or stocking stuff for a Christmas present. Have a good day, guys. Bye.